Hey there, and welcome back to the Disc Connected. I am here once again with another one of my super short imprint films reviews. And this time we will be discussing 1993's Little Buddha, directed by Bernardo Bertolucci. Uh, this film, the colors in this are amazing. That is the one thing that I walked away from this disc going, my goodness, that's, that's, in, that's incredible. Uh, when the script calls for it, when the story calls for it, there's a very clear picture. There's a couple uh, different styles of filming that are gone through here. And when it, when it does call for a clear picture, this is a great transfer. Uh, the others aren't terrible. It's a style choice. So nothing that I would shoot down from that. This is like a super unique story. It's not The Last Emperor that he directed, but it's uh, it's a very enjoyable film, and you can see a lot of similarities between this and The Last Emperor. On this disc, we have a commentary from Jim Hemphill. The commentary itself, it moves in a nice little clip. Uh, it's pretty educational with many direct quotes from other works, and it's nice to see like the the citations that um, you know have have analyzed the film from other sources. The, the works that directly inspired this movie and the the spider web of creations that you can pull from one film is always one of the more fascinating things for me. And I think this commentary does a really good job of highlighting that. So I, I'm grateful that this was on there. Uh, other than that, we've got a lot of stuff. We've got a 15 minute archival making of it's decent. Uh, if, if you're a fan of the movie, you've likely seen it before, but it's not bad. I'm glad that it's on here. We have a 15 minute archival interview with the producer, Jeremy Thomas. This has some pretty good stuff. There's lots of info on Bertolucci himself and the process behind the film. There is a seven minute interview with Bertolucci himself from 1993. It's all right, but it's filled with a lot of the film sequences. So the interview itself is much, much shorter. It's nowhere near the seven or eight minutes that's on there. Uh, there is a 17-minute interview with Andrew Sanders, the supervising art director. This is super dry, super monotonous. This was not for me. I didn't get a lot out of this interview at all. Um, something I really wanted to point out, the imprint special features are mixed much lower than the film, which means I have to turn my volume way up to hear the features clearly. Uh, it's more difficult because those special features aren't subtitled, of course. If they were, I might have gotten a little more out of the situation, but I understand that doing subtitles for all your features is cost prohibitive. It's it's probably not going to happen anytime soon with many of these boutiques, um, you know, trying to cut as many costs as they possibly can. So I, I really just wanted to point that out. I, I really wish that they were mixed a little louder, uh, at least at least near the same level as the film, so I didn't have to fluctuate so much when listening to these. Uh, then, there is a 22-minute interview with Eddie Joseph, the supervising sound editor. This one's decent, but again, suffers from the same issue as the the other features. It's it's just much quieter, and to have it be on the sound editor, it was, it was kind of ironic. Uh, then, finally, there is a 15-minute interview with Constantine Gregory, a dialogue coach, and again, it's it's very monotone. There was not a lot of like personality in this, but this I actually really liked. There was some good info in here. Uh, it could have been a little more personable, but I'm glad it's there. Uh, there also was a theatrical trailer, and it looks like the trailer itself was restored as well. It looked really good. Uh, th it's not always the case that we get a restored trailer, but I, I would imagine this is probably a restored trailer. It looked that good. So, Little Buddha, I, I feel like I could go either way on recommending this or not. I mean, I went this far into this review without saying the words Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves is in this. If that alone could get you to be intrigued and want to see it, yeah, it's probably worth the pickup. Uh, it's likely going to be the best release of this film for a long time, if not forever. So I could totally see Keanu Lorber picking this up and releasing it in the States uh, if they can or if they will. Who knows whether they can or how long that will be because man some of these releases are taking a while but for you just having keanu reeves might be enough or maybe you want a film by bernardo bertolucci on your shelf and the, the ability to follow up the last emperor with this could be intriguing enough and if that's the case heck yeah check it out it's region free you can pop it in any u.s player um it, it's a solid release again it, it's it's not a bad choice. I think Imprint did pretty well with this disc. I just wish that the special features were mixed a little cleaner. All right, that's all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed that. And if you'd like to see more like this, make sure you've subscribed. 
And in the future, I've got more stuff coming to my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below. I appreciate all of your time. I appreciate you giving this a watch. And like I always say, from one collector to all of you, have a good night. Thank you for watching The Disconnected. On the way out, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, that you've liked the video, and that you've copied the link to be able to share it with someone else that may appreciate this.